And welcome to the Battles Within. Today is January the 3rd. We're continuing our study in 1 John chapter 1. Today we will finish chapter 1 by reading verses 8, 9, and 10. We've already seen in 1 John, in the first previous days, that John was the only one who could give us 1 John because he had walked in the steps of Jesus. He had traveled with him. He saw it. He touched it. He lived it. And then we seen the second day when we studied yesterday, we talked about how that if you're living, if your light is shining, if you're fellowshipping with him, if you're striving for the light and not darkness, then you have fellowship with him. But if you have darkness, you don't have fellowship with him at all. And so we can continue now in verse 8. He says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Hear what he said? If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. This is written to Christians. People say, well, once you're a Christian, you can't sin anymore. Yes, you can. The word sin means to miss the mark. And certainly we miss the mark, even as Christians. The difference is that Jesus Christ died for my sins, past, present, and future. He covered all of my sins. He knew what my sins would be. He died on the cross for all of them. He died on the cross for my sins thousands of years before I was ever born. So certainly he can die for my sins for those that are yet to be committed. But understand, remember, we're fellowshipping in the light. We're striving to be in the light. But even this weak flesh, this weak, weak flesh that we have, we still know that we can still strive. We can still commit, commit sins. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. First thing you got to do as a Christian is recognize that you still are a sinner. You're no better than anybody else. Jesus is what made the difference in you, not you. So if we say we're not sinned, verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, so listen to this, since there's a fact that we will sin, since it is a given fact, because he says if we say we don't sin, we, make, we, we are a liar. It says the truth is not in us. So therefore, if we sin, what happens then? Verse 9, this is a powerful verse. I would underline and highlight it. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Listen to that verse again. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. See, we are going to sin in this life because we're still sinners. We still have this old flesh on us and that flesh causes us to sin. We still have want of the eyes. Paul said, the good I would do, I'd do it not. And the evil I would not do, that I wind up doing. Paul said, I struggle with the flesh. So Jesus said, listen, John says, listen, God tells us that if we confess our sins, he, Jesus, is faithful to forgive us our sins. Then the last verse here in verse chapter 1 says, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Those of you that think once you're saved, you can never sin again. You're lying to yourself. You understand? We are lying to ourselves. Verse 8, we say we have no sin. We deceive ourselves. Are you deceiving yourselves today? Are you living a life that's telling people that I'm not sin? Listen, we are filthy sinners. We need redemption every day. Not to be saved over again. Like the disciples and Jesus washed the disciples' feet. He told Peter, listen, I'm washing your feet. Peter said, well, I'm not going to do it. And he said, yes, I'm going to do it. You have no part in me. And Peter said, well, then wash me all over, head to toe. And Jesus said, listen, Peter, you don't need to be washed all over again. You just need your feet cleaned. See, we don't need to be saved all over again. We've been saved one time. But we walk through this world and we get dirty. We get darkness in our lives. And because of that, we need to ask God to forgive us our sins. But praise God, verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is a powerful chapter 1. Next day we'll be covering chapter, beginning in chapter 2. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention today. I want to have a word of prayer. Lord, I pray right now for these people who may be listening to this devotion. I pray, Lord, for them that you would help them to know that they need to walk in the light as you are in the light. That, Lord, if they commit sin in this lifetime, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins if we only ask. Lord, I thank you so much for what you do for us. For it's in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Thank you for your time.